Y'all wanted it, so we're gonna make it happen. Bass fishing is happening today. Let's hop in the truck, but first, let's get a cold start. Alright y'all, welcome back, welcome back to another video. Like I said in the beginning, we we're bass fishing today. Y'all been wanting to see it, so we're gonna make it happen. Before we do that, I wanna talk about something I've been saying, guys. I picked up a new sponsor for fishing, and it is time to reveal it. Let me grab it. What's that say, y'all? Six cents fishing. The one and only. If you know fishing, you know Sixth Sense. I can sit here all day and talk about this company, everything. I love about them, why I sign with them. They have so many opportunities for anglers to jump on board. You can get a Super Six box. This is what this is right here. It's a monthly subscription that comes to your door every single month. And just to brag about them a little more, this is a heavy sack. There's a lot of stuff in here. And there's a way for y'all to get one of these in your hand. You can actually use one of my promo codes to get one and on their website, all their other stuff. I mean, it, it goes for miles, hats, t-shirts. I mean, we'll get into all the details of what they have. If if you're a newbie in the fish, you're gonna catch a lot more fish just from the details and the designs they put into these baits. And if you're a pro, I won't have to say nothing. You'll just, you'll know. And before I tell you my promo code and jumping into the video, I'm also with Waterlands. Waterlands has hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and sunglasses. We'll get into that too. Y'all can see they're just fresh, all different colors, all different makes and models. They put a lot of time designing these glasses and it, and it shows. Before we get started, I'm opening the Super 6 box. I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with today. Other subscriptions from companies, you normally know, just get a box and it's, it's it's gonna break what you do with the box with super six you get a nice silk bag well made you open this joker up and look at how much tackle they stay on match your conditions for the seasons that we're fishing so like i said right now it, it is winter it's a little challenging to catch fish all set of these baits right here give you a better edge to catch some of those winter bass they're just such good looking baits let's get into them starting off you have your snatch 70x the lipless crankbait really good for covering water we're going to be covering water with this today first just to see what those winter bass are wanting to do right here we're working with the swank 77x and the movement 80x these are really good baits i like how they give you two options these are these are some bigger crankbaits great rattles in them these baits are well put together and those big winter bass are down deep these baits right here will bring them up i promise you up next we got the crush 50x and the mini 25 md both small crankbaits look at about a 1.5 right here and this is like a little small little deep dive which is great small baits like this will catch big fish i promise you once again great design you got some smaller rattles in here so you're not really trying to spook some of those bigger fish or i don't see any fish it's a low profile now, all these baits just pop it's, it's like a, it's like a, a new spark to fish i mean they haven't seen stuff like this that's why six cents guys just they divide themselves from everybody else because they're just they're putting a lot of talent and custom design into these baits which is it's gonna attract fish and last but not least is the clout 5.4 june bug red even the soft plastics have a different design in them they have like a checker oh dude this is like you have to get some in your hand just to realize that these are gonna do some damage super tough and you get 10 in a pack most companies they'll rock five maybe seven 10 in a pack for extremely good price and for this we'll get up close like i said y'all waterlands they have a tons of stuff if y'all i know you guys if you like hats and sunglasses go check out their website and, I, and by the way i have a ton more stuff Stuff from both of these companies I don't see a whole truckload there's a lot of stuff that we can get into if y'all want to see more stuff with me talking about leaving the comments down below and I have a problem with going through all of it great glasses great merch just from both companies these hats are freaking fresh from six cents they have a they just have a lot if you want to get on the super six box every single month use LBTV super six that's my promo code I'll leave all this stuff in the description now, if you just want to go on the website and just grab a couple things or a hundred dollars worth of things or even more than that just use lip and bass 10 that's my promo code if you just want to pick some stuff out and with waterlands like i said y'all go check it out it's lip and bass 10 2 there's a three promo code you can use to get on the train with me it helps me out too y'all if you support my channel you're going to support this company too because we're a part of each other now i appreciate it guys let's get into fishing all right y'all the time is coming we're at the pond about to hit the water like i said in the beginning starting off with the lip list you want to cover water these bass could be all grouped up in the middle they could be it's a warmer day today so they could move up and try to get some bait you just never know what these fish are doing so instead of wasting time just throwing something a little bit small like a shaky head t-rig cover some water with the lipless you can use a crankbait you can use a lipless a deep diver you can do whatever you want cast and cover ground what we're about to do now let's see what we can catch now, i'm not sure how to fish a lipless long bomb cast out there depending on your depths let it sink we'll do about three feet today and then start reeling around a steady retrieve you want to pop it all you want to do is just really slack in, pop it. It makes those rattles react the way they should and attracts those fish really good. Lipless crankbaits, they're one of the loudest moving baits you can fish. 
it gets them fired up. We're gonna do that until we can pick off a fish. Sometimes you have to change your retrieve, let it sink a little bit more and film some grass down there. You might wanna speed it up. Just wait to feel that thump. Once you do get bit, don't set the hook, just lean into them. Six cents, they have sharp hooks on these. Does not take a lot to pin a fish. There's one right at the freaking bank. Give me everybody, couldn't resist it. Hit it at the bank. It's not the size they're going for, but it's a key, it's a sign. You gotta learn these things when you're bass fishing. Been casting all the way out into the middle, got no bites. This guy hit it at the bank. I actually watched him open his mouth and hit it. He was so close, so that means he was moving up to grab some food during one of these winter days. So let's throw him back and let's use that hand. Thank you, buddy. She go. That water is freezing my hand right now. It's already going a little numb. Threw around this corner, picked off that one, got us a little hint. We're gonna keep on moving actually on the dam side. I wanna fish in deeper water because with lipless crankbait and in the winter time, if they're deep, you'll get them in schools, you'll get them in packs. I mean back to back. So let's keep on moving this dam, see what we can make happen. Pushed up to the dam now in that deeper water. Slow it down a little bit. See if there's one out there. Pretty positive, I just felt a fish hit it twice. It was a very, very small peck, which is what you'll get in the winter time. It's normal. Not really wanting to attack baits. They will, but they're very picky. Good sign, that means that there's a couple out there. They're just being a little picky. There's one right there. Oh, it came off, came off. It was there though. Let's back it up. I got hit about 40 yards out. And then got hit again at 20, and that's when they just popped off. So there's a couple of them out there. There he is. Hit it off the stick. So they're down there. They are down there, get up. Super pretty bass, super pale. I can tell there's numbers out there. Normally in a group of small ones, there, there's a couple bigger. So we might be able to pick them up. But for sure, these guys are getting some interest in the old lipless crankbait. Let's get a release on her. Got to toss because I'm on the dam. Thank you, buddy. 100% a reaction strike, bumped that log. I actually bumped it the last time I lost one too, and then he smacked it. So let's mimic that, see if we can get another. There's another one off the log. Come here, buddy. A little bigger, too. They're probably about the same size. Get up here, buddy. Show y'all something. When they eat it like that, head first, they want these baits. All right, about the same size, but they're down there. Let's get them back so we can get another. Thank you, buddy. This is normally what happens, y'all. I'm not calling a big fish, but it could happen. You start picking off these smaller numbers. Big girl's gonna wonder what they're all eating. She's gonna get in an action. Call them that good. We got our first little clue on the bank. Came over here to the dam, was looking for that school of fish. We found them. We know there is some fish suspended. Now let's grab that little, little shaky head and see what we can do. Got our plastic right here. We're gonna throw it around. Try to see if we can feel some structure. If I can compare it to something, I mean, a big bass or any bass, once they're down there, if they're at the bottom, they're gonna wanna be by something. You wouldn't put your bed in the middle of your room. You put it against the wall or in the corner. So that's kind of what, like, what, that's what bass do. So let's find their home and let's catch them. Come on, Mr. Largemouth. Now this is a patience thing. You wanna work this bait slow. Super, super slow, give those good pops. You wanna fish this bait slow, just hop it up and down off the bottom and just try to feel what's down there. If you do bump something, let it sit, cause normally you get a thump right after because you just knocked on his door. There's one right there, picked it up. Come here, buddy. Oh, that's a better fish, that's a better fish. Come here, come here, couldn't resist the worm. I'm in a bad place to land, we're running over. I got you. Just can't beat it, y'all. Couldn't resist the worm. Beautiful fish. We cover ground with that lipless. Like I said, y'all just didn't have any interest. She was at the bottom, standing her ground. Old June bug red came walking by, and she had to eat it. Beautiful fish, y'all. Let's get some pictures, and let's get her back. Give her a nice drink before we send her back. There she goes. Been out here for about 20 minutes. On a winter day, and we already have, let's just call a little under, we'll just call five pounds worth of fish. That ain't bad, let's keep on moving, let's see what we can get. My heart drops every time I fish on a dam, just for that reason. I was gonna bank flip her, but I just didn't want to risk it. And you got all of this in front of me. Have you a good little landing spot around the corner, just in case of that. There's another one, walking towards me. Come here. Stay down. We'll come up and don't matter, just get on the bank. The same size we're catching on the lipless. In that same group though, for sure. I think she wanted it. Bass almost has a tint of pink to her. She has not seen much light. The pretty bass, let's get her back. Thank you, buddy. You can just see where my hook's coming through the worm. Everything is still intact, super tough. Still hanging in there. Let's get some more. The way this worm was designed, it actually has a fatter head and then it narrows down and gets a little bit smaller at the end. 
and that actually helps that bait bounce off the bottom and keep that tail up. It is doing a great job because right now you can see I'm pulling off some grass. Normally when it's winter, you'll still have some healthy green grass down there. That swim jig can also come into play throwing around that, but that tail is definitely staying up to where they can still see something bouncing and they can't resist it. Every time I cast, I'm remembering where I'm putting it because if I'm not feeling any bumps or any structure in that one line, I ain't casting there again. You want to find that structure, we're going to keep on moving around until we do. All right, y'all, we have fun with the worm. We're going to throw the little 50 around now so we can pick off some school and bass again. Love feeling fish hit stuff off the bottom when you're fishing like a T-rig or a shaky head, but it's something about reeling in a bait too and having something slam it. Oh, I just had one. Pulled off when I thumped that log. There he is. Come here. Off the log again. Not a bad fish. Come here, buddy. She's digging, bull. Get up here. We missed her, threw back in there, got her to bite another beautiful pale bass. Let's get her back to her home. She gone. Look at that. <laughs> she won't playing around. It could be another one. Let's throw it back. Let's see what happens. There's another one. Come here. Might be a better fish. It is. Come here, baby. Come here. Stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Another solid one. Come here. Come on into me. Come on. Get me here. Gotta hold her like a football. I think she wanted the 50X. You can't beat it. She's got a bit head. Easy three and a half. Could be four. Honestly, could be five. Beautiful fish though. Let's get her back in the water. Her get a quick drink. When she's ready to go, She'll turn. Thank you, baby. Talk about a smackdown. We're coming to our last couple little spots, y'all. Keep on throwing this 50X and see what we can get. There's another one. There's another one. Come here, another big one. You stay down. Pull and drag, stay down. Once again, terrible landing spot. This fish is digging. I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Oh, it's a chunk. It's a bucket mouth. She's fighting me. It's a bucket mouth. Come here. Come here. Don't you come off. Don't you come off. <laughs> oh, what an absolute tank. Can't talk enough about them. These baits work. We're going to wrap this video up right here. I'm going to get this fish back in the water. We'll get you a super six bag. What a Mondo. Nice look at this big girl. Let's let her get her drink of water. It's a lot for him. Look at that bucket mouth. Wish you could hold him longer, but I got to let her go. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Like I said, y'all, we're going to wrap it up. I don't even have to say much for the outro. I hope you guys learned something today from this video, how you can catch massive bass in the winter, especially having your best friend the Super 6 bag. I really appreciate it, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below. Go to the description. I appreciate it, guys. Looking Bass TV.